but we keep it hidden. Yes. But should she need to get to it, you know, she can have her Beauty and the Beast moment. I'm Carisha Swanson. I'm here to show you this incredible kitchen. Welcome! Hi, Carisha! Hi! You brought the rain with you. I think I did. Oh, it's sunny Florida usually. Just not today. Come not on today. In. You have a few strong beliefs I've heard about kitchens. <laughs> I think there are some really beautiful kitchens out there. I'm just not sure how well they work. Mm. And somebody who loves food and cooking, um, I consider myself a decent cook yes. and a, maybe a better designer at them. So I think it's really important that designers know what they're doing when they step into design a kitchen. And yes. the best way to do that is to know how to cook. So, okay, so we're gonna get into this kitchen. It is an open concept, which everyone loves that idea. But the reality is an open kitchen is an often messy kitchen. Yes. So we needed to make it beautiful and striking. It's the center of the home. But we also needed a space that would kind of be the workhorse mm -hmm. and the messy stuff was a little more out of sight. So that right. was really the driving force between the design and the function. So you've got two different types of countertops happening in here. We do. I think it's nice to switch up the materials. This was kind of our showstopper. There's yeah. some polish to it. It has the veining and interest. And then we subdued it in the back with a honed finish. And so what is this? This is a quartz product. Okay. Um, so that means no maintenance, which was very important to the client. So yeah. you can put anything on top of this. It's not gonna mar from wine or lemon juice. Another thing that you have here is a ton of storage built into this island. We do, and again, a lot of faking because when you're designing an, an island this large, you don't wanna just have false panels everywhere. Right. So a lot of the drawers function and a lot of them are false drawers. Okay. But there's a ton of storage from all angles. And I remember too, when I was kind of snooping around here earlier, right? You've got like all your utensil drawers, but this, this is amazing. That is kind of without uppers. Right. We need a place to put the bowls and the dishes, and ergonomically, it is a lot easier on your body to not be reaching up for these kind of fragile items. Right. And they're down below counter. I love that. And it also makes it easier for the kids to help. Huh? It does. This is our refrigerator and the full freezer, which for this big of a family, it's really nice to have this much storage in sure. cold storage. And we faked the bottom to look like drawers because next to it, this is a pantry. So oh, this fantastic. is one of their pantries. We have rollouts, and in this family, there's a lot of pouches, which is for a one-year-old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> including the cereal and all those things are stored, and then a drawer, um, drawers below for additional storage as well. So in this space, it's the tile was really what set the tone for all the materials and finishes. Beautiful. It's a hand-painted terracotta, and most people use tile just as a backsplash, so they're protecting the walls from the splatter right. from kitchen messes. Because we didn't have uppers and we have this kind of peekaboo moment into the catering kitchen, there's no trim around the floors and the ceiling. Yeah. Whereas in the rest of the house, there's base molding and crown molding. Sure. We ran this like you would an exterior cladding material. What came first, the wall tile or the ceiling? Because this is not all over the house. This is not. So this is Pecky Cypress, and Pecky Cypress is indicative of this region of the southeastern United States. And the homeowners, that was really important to them that that be in the home. Okay. Mm -hmm. And because of white kitchens, and this really is a white kitchen, um, that material felt really prevalent in this space. Yeah. The minute it went in, there was a sense of age that came with it mm -hmm. that didn't feel like a new shiny kitchen. Right. So essentially it was your way of making this not feel like a brand new build. Yeah, it's nice to see those. Yeah. Something that's lived in and has a story coming into an, a new space. Yep. So this range is massive. It is massive, which you need in the scale of this kitchen, honestly. Yeah. I mean, anything smaller would have felt pretty demure. Yeah. So yeah, this is a nice, nice size range. A lot of people are going away again, lack of uppers. So the wall oven is starting to come out of style. Yeah. These pendants are beautiful. So where are these from? These are Urban Electric. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is, if you could use Urban Electric, you're, you're doing something right. So yeah. yes, these are, again, a statement. Yeah. One of the very few, um, first things actually that was picked for the kitchen in addition to the tile. Oh, is that right? Yes. Yeah, we wanted something special that you weren't seeing all the time. Right. And these are the open glass, so there's some sparkle, there's the mirror plate at, at the top. They call these the smoke bell. Um, so that's reflecting additional light and just a real pretty mix of finishes. It's not white, it's not gray, it's not blue. Right. So Krista, I know one of the things that most people have in their islands, especially when they're this big, is usually another sink. 
But in this case, in this kitchen, you have one sink. They did, that was intentional. Their yeah. last home had the sink in the island and they really came to dislike that feature. Yeah. Because the reality is the stuff is around the sink. So then when the stuff's on the island, it's just not a good look. So oh. they really wanted the sink away from the island, did yeah. not want the opportunity for water on the island at all. Mm -hmm. Pot filler helps that. Right. The one thing I have not seen in this space is a dishwasher. Yes, because it's hiding. Okay. Why would you want to see your appliances? It needs to be big and 48 inches yes. or put it away. <laughs> so these are dishwasher drawers um, and they're by Fisher Paykel. They love the feature of having a smaller dishwasher mm -hmm. to do, you know, right before a party, you throw in wine glasses right. and you're not taking up such a large space. So Got it. Mm -hmm. in this house, one is always humming and the other one is almost just storage until you're ready to turn it on and wash more dishes. So there's two here. Always, yeah. yeah. Second one on the bottom. So Perfect. in this case, they have one ready to load and one ready to empty. Yeah. Huh? Okay, so now we're leaving, you know, the pretty kitchen, yes. coming into the real workhorse <laughs> of this home. And we call it a catering kitchen, mostly because butler's pantries are usually situated between a formal dining room and a kitchen. Okay. This has a lot of the same purpose. Right. It's quite large, but it's really where a lot of the mess happens. Yeah. And we wanted things that were easily accessible. Um, a lot of the appliances, additional appliances are back here. So while they probably will have caterers that will use this, yes. it's really a glorified butler's pantry. <laughs> Fine, yeah. and with great natural light. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yes. And so we wanted to see this feel like a screen porch that was enclosed. So the walls are clad in the same material of the exterior of this home, which is white painted brick. Okay. And we read that again from floor to ceiling, no crown in this room, right. and then brought the impact in with the saturation of the cabinetry. So again, you, you do finally have uppers, but on either side here. We do, yes, and they are quite high. So yes. when you go 12 feet, you're gonna need a way to get up there. Sure. So when we decided to have these go up to the ceiling, the ladder just had to come into play. The reason we designed it was it's the things that you rarely get to. That's what I figured, right? It's Maybe the holiday, holiday stuff, right? Exactly, it's okay. platters, it's, there's probably some obnoxious Santa cookie thing up there. <laughs> um, but we keep it hidden. Yes. But should she need to get to it, you know, she can have her Beauty and the Beast moment. Right. And climb right up. <laughs>It's such a thoughtfully designed space because these two spaces connected because right. so often not everybody has the room to have a butler's pantry, but it's a really smart way of using a room like this, especially if you do like to cook right. and you do want to have these kind of different zones for making your life work. Right. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Oh, thank you for coming. I mean, what you've done here is amazing. And I think it's maybe time for us to go have a drink in that other room. Yeah, like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah. Perfect. <laughs>